Okay, so I need to cut a slot for my carbon tube, which is four centimeters from the leading edge and 22 centimeters long. The carbon tube is five millimeters in diameter. I'm using a bush from a blue snake in the center section. So I'm going to cut along my pre-drawn lines with a fresh blade. This helps keep the router within the lines that you want. It also gives you a clean cut as well. Okay, so now it's time to use the router to uh, remove the foam in between the lines, about five millimeters deep. You may need to be a bit deeper in the center sections as the wind is tapered. Go careful as you go, as it's better to do a little bit at a time and keep checking than it is to do a great big hole and end up with a mess. The centre section does need to be a bit wider because of the plastic tubing that's over the carbon tube. Keep adjusting the depth of the uh, groove as you go. The edge of the carbon tube will help remove any extra debris that's been left behind by the rotor. Steady as we go, we're nearly done now. Okay, so now I have uh, glued the carbon fibre tube in using hot melt glue from about there to the end and about there to the end, leaving the middle unglued. It's now time for me to cut out the centre section and you need something that's uh, wider or as wide as that, which this is suitable for me. So I'll just place this close as I can over there and cut it free. Now I will be putting some uh, ply in there, so I'll probably have to sand it flush. Okay. Now join up the lines. I don't think I got that quite straight there.
So now they are perfectly in line and that is free to move. Now I need to clean up the inside, sand that, sand this section and uh, once I've got my ply onto the and my ply control home which I'll make now uh, in case I glue it back in. Okay so I'll get on with sanding these edges down and that so that it'll fit the ply and then I'll get back to you. So now that I have uh, glued 164th ply on the uh, exposed cut edges of the centre section and I have glued my 116th ply and 116th ply control horn on the tail plane it's now time to do the underside and I'm going to be uh, laminating it. So it's just a case of uh, laminating this, this will uh, keep it a bit stronger and uh, smooth smooth it So that's one side nearly finished so I'm going to cut out some more and do the other side and then I'll uh, get back to them that's off. Okay so now I have uh, laminated both the underside and I can confirm that the stickers that come supplied with it are full length so when I laminated I did an overlap of about there okay so from the underside folded over over there underside folded over when the stickers goes over the top of it it covers that edge so now there is no gap between the elevator there there is no gap there or there and the laminate and the sticker should help prevent this uh, aileron from bending which is what we want okay I've uh, got that to glue back on so I'm going to use some hot milk glue dab in there make sure that I don't get any to foul up here Put that in and then that's ready to uh, slot in and use. So when that bit's done, I'll uh, show you the rest. 